Greetings, I'm Chandrasekhar LSP, part of Zoho, a pioneering technology company offering 50 plus cloud-based applications. In business since 1996, serving over 625,000 businesses, we are bootstrapped, private, and profitable since inception. A modern self-service BI platform, Zoho Analytics, has been driving data-driven successes for 16,000 plus global customers since 2009. With its flexible deployment options, it excels in data management, sophisticated data blending, augmented analytics, and offers a robust API for seamless embedded BI integration. I will now decode the global flood patterns with Zoho Analytics. And of course, it all starts with data. Zoho Analytics can import data from over 250 data sources, be it files and feeds, on-prem databases, cloud databases, or business applications. Zoho Analytics can do it all and more. The platform can also auto-create or suggest models, reports, and dashboards. For the flood data analysis, we have data from OECD, GHCND, and Indian Statistical Institutes. The data model here shows the relationship between the countries in the country table with natural disasters, river floods, coastal floods, the number of dams built, and so on. To build this data model for analysis, we leverage our data prep studio. Data Prep Studio helps me to assess the data quality and apply required transforms to make the data operational for analytics. As soon as the data is sourced, I get a data quality report and the column data types are automatically identified. I have applied multiple transforms to create the model. To demonstrate the ease of use, I will showcase two such transforms. First up, the data from the Indian Statistical Institutes were segregated across different files by states. And for this project, it made sense for me to have it all combined. A simple point and click operation allows me to combine the data for the state of Tamil Nadu into a table where all the data is consolidated. In the coastal flood OECD table, the column reference area has a country code and region as a single value. So I apply a column transform to split the column to create a new column for the region value. Selecting the delimiter in the column triggers suggestions such as splitting, replacing, or extracting. The data prep operation that I have done on every table is stored as a rule set. And this rule set gets applied every time data from the source is synchronized. Once the data is prepared, I catalog it, tag it, and make it available for Zoho Analytics thus creating an analytics data pipeline. With the data prepared and cataloged, Zoho Analytics steps in to process and analyze the data to help me create charts, graphs, and widgets that have been organized into this dashboard. The key metrics widget up top shows the flood impact since 1900. 31,000 flood events, 7 million lives lost, and $967 billion in total damages. Flood events globally have been on the rise, and it can be correlated to the fact that the average precipitation index has risen from 20 in the late 1800s to 28 in the 2000s. The precipitation chart that you see here is plotted from the GHCND table that has over 3 billion rows, tracing data back to 1799. We will observe that despite the rise in flood events over time, the number of deaths is showing a downward trend. And purely based on data, it can be attributed to the number of dams that were erected in the same time period. We can conclude that dams are a good mitigation strategy, but are they? When we consider floods, there are two types, one that is caused by river systems and the second that is caused by coastal systems. And obviously coastal systems require different mitigation strategy. The OECD data here shows the areas that have most exposure to the different kind of flood systems, the river and the coastal. I also have a Pareto chart to analyze the impact of economic damages caused by the 20% countries affected by flood. In order to do that, I use the formula engine to create a formula column. And it uses running totals and windowing functions. And the new column that is created is used for the Pareto analysis. I also want to create more charts for analysis, and to do that, I launch Ask Zia, Soho's intelligent assistant, to interact with the data using natural language. I want to know the death toll trend 
And as I do it, Zia gives me suggestions of columns that I may want to include. I want to filter it for the last 24 years and Zia retains the context and responds in a conversational way. I then want to group the result by country and change the chart type. And once ready, I can add this report to an existing dashboard or can add it to a new dashboard. But in the interest of time, I've already done this and I've added it to the existing dashboard. Now I'm ready to analyze the data. Now, when I do that, I see that there are too many data points for any insights to jump at me. And this is where Zia Insights, our natural language generation engine shines. I invoke Zia Insights and it gives me insights based on which I can trigger actions. In this case, we see that India has lost the most lives due to the floods. And based on this, I did more analysis that is presented in the India tab dashboard. India being a peninsular country is hit hard by coastal flood systems. Chennai in Tamil Nadu, where Zoho has its mothership, is on the southeastern coast of India and it was hit by a devastating flood in 2015. I personally know of colleagues who were stuck on treetops when dams were open to contain the surge. I also have a forecasting report here that shows the urban population trend in India. A hockey stick for India is no surprise. However, I want to turn our focus back to Tamil Nadu. And we see that since 2015, it has been hit with floods repeatedly. But the good news is that the loss of lives and the economic damages have come down quite drastically. We will review the steps taken by the state government and share our inferences in the next segment. To share finding with other stakeholders, Zoho Analytics allows me to add users to the platform. Users can be given fine-grained access control to analyze and explore the data. Reports can also be shared as an email on an ad hoc or scheduled basis in PDF and HTML formats. I can also share reports using embeddable links or permalinks. The platform also allows me to collaborate in the context of the report or dashboard using the commenting and tagging features. Zoho Analytics includes Zoho Click, our instant messaging platform. This helps me to collaborate within the platform using instant messaging channels. Here, I have an IM group with all the stakeholders who are a part of the flood data analysis project. I can generate a permalink and share it with the stakeholders and discuss the findings with my team in the instant messaging channel. Zoho Analytics also supports data storytelling that is powered by Zoho Show, our presentation builder. It can be used to craft immersive data stories. Over and above creating standard presentations, I can actually embed live charts, dashboards, and even embed the Ask Zia capability into the presentation. And magically, it turns my deck into an analytics playground. And that is exactly what I do to get the Tamil Nadu specific reports. And we observe that the death toll has gone down significantly. The question then is why? Flood mitigation strategies in Chennai include removing river encroachments, desilting of water bodies, and removing blockages in drains and culverts. This live chart here shows lands reclaimed from the three main water bodies in Chennai, the Kuam River, the Buckingham Canal, and the Adair River. Desilting 23,000 public tanks, 11,500 water bodies and riverbeds, and finally, removing blockages from 15,000 small bridges and 150,000 culverts pay way for the water to reach the sea. In summary, death toll has been reduced by 250%. Economic damages have been significantly reduced and the tightrope walk is to marry town planning with urbanization. Any city that is impacted by coastal flood system and dealing with massive urbanization can take a leaf from Chennai's book.
No better place to start than generative AI. We have contextually integrated OpenAI's ChatGPT for data management and analytics. In the Data Prep Studio, we will support Transform by Example, a classic use case for generative AI. Looking at a column, I know the output I want, but I may not know the transform I have to apply. In this example, I want the year value from the date column. The desired output, the year, is seen as a prompt and data prep generates the appropriate function to apply. Transforms can now be applied using Ask Zia in the data preparation layer. I want to calculate the total damages incurred by each state due to floods. And data prep comes up with the required formula and then generates a new column which can then be added to my data model. The integration of OpenAI's ChatGPT will now allow users to create models that may require SQL chops. Here, we are looking at a prompt that will help me to generate a SQL query to join the flood data in India table with the fund allocation table. I want to refine the data further with external data sources. And to do that, I will take the help of ChatGPT to find external data sources that can help me in this project. I want the dataset that has the min and max temperatures recorded in all the US states. The response is turned into a table that will become a part of my data model for analysis. This integration can also be used to train Ask Zia with synonym mappings, and this will greatly help in creating domain-specific language models for NLP and drive effective usage of Ask Zia in businesses. Ask Zia, our natural language processing engine, and Zia Insights, our natural language generation engine, supports English and Spanish. Here, I'm interacting with Ask Zia in Spanish and want it to report the death toll for the last 24 years. We also continue to expand the language support. French is now going to be supported and is in private beta at this time. Zoho Analytics comes with Zoho Sites, our website builder, and offers businesses to craft data stories using portals. We support creating portals using Zoho Analytics. We will launch the BI Fabric feature that will allow businesses to create portals that can include reports and dashboards from third-party BI applications like Tableau, Power BI, Click, and so on. We see this as an important capability, practical feature to foster collaborative BI practice. In summary, Soho's Analytics offers a deep BI stack focused on helping businesses to be insights driven. AI in all its form is seen as a means to an end. We know and care about the space and have been doing so for over a decade and a half. Thank you.